Let's get the issues out of your tissues. If you're a child who always felt like they had to perform in order to be seen or to be loved, then this exercise is perfect for you. Join me on your mat, seated or lying down. We're gonna do a few rounds of alternate nostril breathing. Cover your right nostril with your thumb and breathe in through your left nostril. <sighs> then cover your left nostril, hold it, and then exhale through your right nostril. And again, cover your left nostril, breathe in through your right nostril. Close your right nostril and exhale through your left nostril. Now continue at your own pace, alternating the nostril that you inhale through and exhale through. And once you're ready, join me by lying down on your mat. But this time I'd like you to grab a cushion or a pillow. We're going to do a very restorative trauma healing session. So join me by lying down just over your cushion. You can either put your feet together in a reclined butterfly pose or you can have your legs sprawled out. Whatever is most comfortable for you and whatever helps you. To relax. Let's take some deep breaths in. As you lie here, I want you to think of your younger self, how much you had to perform, how much you had to do, how much you had to think of other people, how much you had to act a certain way in order to feel loved, in order to feel seen, in order to be regarded. That needs to stop. I need you to know that you are worthy of love even if you are doing nothing, even if you are achieving nothing, even if you are being unproductive. You don't need to perform to be loved because you are enough as you are and as you have always been. It is not your fault that the people around you did not see your value. Promise me that from today, you see your value, whether or not anybody else does. As much as it is important for us to be busy bodies, for us to have a job or to earn an income, please also understand that rest is just as important as everything else that you do. And if there's anyone who deserves some me time, some self care, and if there's anyone who deserves to be lying there right now, it's you. But enjoy every moment of this session as you just allow your body to relax Allow your mind to clear. Relax your shoulders. Unclench your jaw. Remove your tongue from the top of your mouth. Place your hands on your womb area, your sacral chakra. Imagine your hands warming up over the most sacred part of your body. Envision a bright white light entering your womb space and healing you of your mother wound. May it cleanse the area of all generational pain, of all the abuse, whether emotional, physical, sexual, 
psychological. Thank you for healing your mother as you heal yourself. And thank you for healing her mother as you heal yourself. As you know, you were already in your mother's womb when she was a child, as an egg. And even further, you were already in your grandmother's womb when she was a child. Because every girl is born with all the eggs that she will ever have. So as you heal yourself, you are healing whatever has happened to your mother and whatever has happened to your grandmother. And what an honor it is to do that. Whether or not your mother is aware or grateful for the work that you're doing in this lifetime and in this present consciousness, on a spiritual level and on an ethereal level, she feels it and she understands. And whether or not you get your thank you in this existence, energetically, you will be rewarded. So thank you again for all that you do and know that you deserve this moment of healing and stepping into your power. I'd like you to move your right hand to your heart area and leave your left hand over your womb. And let's do some belly breathing. We're going to start by inhaling, expanding your belly area as much as possible, opening your womb space, creating more and more space for that bright white light to enter and remove any negative energy, any dark energy, any pain that is manifesting as hormonal imbalances or menstrual cycle issues, whether it is fibroids, PCOS, endometriosis, may it all disappear. May the fibroids and cysts shrink and may the endometriosis tissues just disappear. And may your next cycle be one of the best cycles of your life. Breathe into your belly and take that breath all the way up through your ribs and all the way up to your chest. And as you exhale, let's go back down from your chest, down to your ribs and down to your belly. And again, breathe into your womb. Take that breath up to your ribs and even higher into your chest. Hold it and exhale down from your chest, down to your ribs and down to your womb space. Keep doing that. And as you breathe, inhaling and exhaling, Remember that you were an egg in your mother and you were an egg in your grandmother. And because of that, you felt all the trauma and any pain that they experienced, which is what has brought you here to this moment so that you can start to heal everything that has happened in your line, in your bloodline. And I want to say thank you to you because no one else in the family is doing it. And what a brave, courageous and honorable thing to do. You can continue to breathe as normal and place your hands to your sides 
and just lie here as you integrate everything that we have been through today. As you go through your life, I encourage you to always have your inner child with you. Listen to her. Be the adult that you needed when you were younger. If you are having a bad day, be your own comforter. Be your own savior. You are everything that you need and you have everything that you need within you. Comfort yourself the way you wish your mother comforted you. Cheer yourself on the way you wish she cheered for you. Believe in yourself the way you wish she believed in you. While you lie here, if you get any feelings of electric jolts through your body, don't be surprised. This is what happens when we reach very high frequencies and very high vibrations. You are an electric being and the work you are doing is extremely sacred. Don't be surprised if you suddenly have jolts of electricity flowing through you, manifesting as shaking or crying or laughing or any other physical reaction. Take it as a sign that your body is releasing and take it as a sign that what you are doing is so amazing. What I love about these shaking and jolts is that it really shows you how simple it is to get into this healing mindset and it's so easy to activate the healing. You haven't done very much in this session. You've just laid there and trusted your mind and your body to let go. How powerful are you? You don't even have to do anything to let it go. So I encourage you to come back to this video whenever you feel down, whenever you feel that you have something to let go of and you want to get into the right mindset. Allow your body to do it for you. Your body will never ever let you down. So when you're ready, turn over to your right side. Just think of how much you've released in this short but powerful session. Your life will never be the same again. It will get better with each passing day, I promise you. And you will see magic happen like never before. The most incredible synchronicities, the most magical coincidences. May every person that you encounter be as kind as you are. May you gain favor in any activity that you are going through, whether it's an application of any kind, whether you are moving, may you find the perfect home for yourself and your family. Even the simple things, may you get the parking space that you want. May, may you get free things for absolutely no reason. So come up and sit with me while we finish this session. Just close your eyes and take it all in. Roll your shoulders back. And smile to yourself. 
Look how far you've come. I'm so proud of you. So let's finish the session. Bring your arms up over your head and bow down to yourself in prayer position. And thank yourself for doing this wonderful healing practice with me. And I will see you again very soon.